We have like a really specific sales funnel strategy that we use and there's four steps to the strategy. Uh, the first step is what we call a read magnet um, and the, the purpose behind that, I mean, what it basically is, it's usually just a free piece of content that appears on your site, whether it be a blog post, podcast episode or a video, it's just a free piece of content that appears on your site. But it's around, it's around one specific subject. So for us, like we, we teach online business and so there's multiple subjects people want to learn about. Um, so for example, uh, Facebook groups is something that people want to learn about, right? And so we'll write a free piece of content around Facebook groups and that's our read magnets. We send people to that as step one. Step two is a relevant lead magnet. And that's like a free giveaway related to say Facebook groups that people have to opt in, so put in their name and email address in order to get it. As soon as they opt in, um, we, then, uh, we then sell an introductory offer, which is step number three. And the introductory offer is again, relevant to the subject of Facebook groups. So it, it'd be like a mini course. Uh, so we have a course called Engage, which is just around like uh, creating and growing a Facebook group for your business. And so the goal is to then upgrade them into a customer from that point. The cost of the introductory offer is relatively low, just so we can, it's, it's like a no brainer price point. The goal is pretty much just to acquire them as a customer. Once you acquire them as a customer, uh, as many business owners already know, it's a lot easier to sell to existing customers than it is to go out and find new ones. And so those people, we then upgrade to our core offer, which is screw you. And that's like our all encompassing solution. So they come into our sales funnel interested in Facebook groups, but they end up joining through you, which is our like online business membership. Yeah, everything. All much. the things. But I think you touched on this. The real key with these funnels to really get them to heavily convert is to keep the topic congruent across every single stage in the funnel. So there's no hiccups or disruption to the flow. It's all like, oh, of course I want that. That's, yeah. Oh, of course I want that course. Absolutely. And so there's never any pauses or, mm. or like weird interruptions. Yeah. And so the way that these tools come into play for this, this sales funnel strategy uh, is in multiple ways, basically. So because we create lots of different sales funnels around many different subjects, we're able to like reach a broad audience as opposed to, I know a lot of people in our space like to just niche down on one thing. The problem is like you niche down on one thing and you may become really good at that, uh, but your clientele, your client base is really small. So this allows us to create lots of different funnels around many different subjects. We can reach the entire audience uh, in the online business space. And uh, yeah, and, and so click funnels is really important for this because because we're creating lots of funnels. Um, click funnels is an option where you can literally go click a button uh, that allows you to clone an entire funnel. So there might be like four or five pages in that funnel. I don't have to go and recreate them every time I create a new sales funnel. I just click a button and then just change the text around, and, and I'm good to go for the next one. So it saved us a lot of time. I'd be interested to hear about. Um creating these funnels in click funnels versus infusionsoft how do you combine the two so infusionsoft doesn't i mean they do have like some landing pages basically uh they're like really sort of simple landing pages and check out pages and stuff like that um but click funnels is just like a really uh, really fast easy way of creating effective looking landing pages so Talk about landing pages, we're talking about creating opt-in pages where people can put in their name and email address. Um, thank you pages after they've, after they've uh, signed up. Um, sales pages are very easy to create in ClickFunnels. It's all drag and drop. Like as soon as it came out, as soon as I started using it, I was like, wow, this technology actually exists. It just <laughs> makes it so much better. Like um, for example, one of the things I wanted to do was to try and make our landing pages look like our brand. So look like our site. So we don't feel like they're leaving our site and going to a new one. And literally you can make your, any ClickFunnels page look however you want it to look, right? And you don't have to be a designer or a developer to do it. You just have to just drag and drop a whole bunch of elements and it's, it's really simple to do. So um, yeah, so ClickFunnels is really important when it comes to building all the landing pages out and you can't really do that in Infusionsoft. Um, but Infusionsoft has been great for us because we also run email sequences off the back of these funnels. So for, for example, let's say someone opts in to pick up our lead magnet, but they don't purchase the introductory offer. We want 
we want to, we still give them a chance to purchase it later. Um, so once they opt in, they don't make at a purchase. A, at a higher price. Yeah. So they don't make a purchase, right? But then we're going to send them a, a uh, set of emails that tries to upgrade them into an introductory offer. And that's handled on Infusionsoft's end. 